This is my super informal setup. Um, just to practice the knots. They are like Ryan knots um, in the uh, hand knotted rug world. They're called Turkish knots, or at least that's what I'm using um, on this. This is just a sampler. This, there is no rhyme or reason to this, to the colors, to nothing. This is my uh, tool. It's got a hook on the end, and then this is what's used to cut the yarn down after you've um, put it through. Uh, you would normally see a row of left between the rows of knotted. I'm just not doing it this time because I wanted to uh, do a very quick video. So what I'm doing is I'm using the hook to pull up a stretch of yarn. The yarn is extremely tight and inflexible because um, I have it on this little tiny pot holder loom. I just wanted something so that I could practice. So it's not this fiddly trying to get the yarn around the loops, or excuse me, the yarn around the um, warp threads, goodness. Okay, so you've got it behind. I got it all stretched weird. And then you hold them together the hook comes between, you grab its pair, which is this one, and you're just going to scoop this guy through. Again, I know I've got, I'll, I'll do it again with a uh, better yarn. These are just for tinkering. Now you can see, there's your bar. Apologize for saying it. It was on the back side. I need glasses. Uh, you pull it down. And then you use this to cut off the excess, whatever that is. Usually it's like this. When your is not that hard, but I literally have this sitting on an easel. So every time I move it, it's scooching around. It's ridiculous. But um, that won't be the case later. I'm going to show you a much nicer version of that uh, with just a thicker piece of, this is bulky weight uh, wool. And I'm just going to throw it here for no apparent reason. You go under, pull it through. Again, this is not a fiddly process. It's fiddly because the angles that I'm dealing with right now. There you go, it's much easier to see. There's your right leg and left leg of the warps. There's your bar, and you pull it down. And once you've got it pulled down, you can use this to cut it off. And these can be sharpened too. And I will sharpen them. Um, between each one, each row, Yank these guys down, use this tool, sorry, use this tool to beat it uh, into place because you want all of these firmly packed it in. Uh, hold on one second, I'm going to show you the back. This is a hot mess. I know it's a hot mess. It's okay. Uh, you can see I started off with just one ply or one um, length of pellet yarn here and then I tinkered with doing two thicknesses of it and now I'm tinkering with doing three but you can see the thickness difference this is just a sampler it, there's no no care in the world um, so uh, these are actually I think right there you can see that it's two thread or uh, two the yarn wraps around each of those two warps. The, the warps are done in pairs so that it can, um, uh, so you can form the, the knots properly. When uh, this is all set up, you've got all this extra. You see all the extra. You don't want the extra. So you can just eyeball it or you can use any sort of a guide that works for you. Uh, I have this little handheld recorder 
and that's actually a really nice um really nice thickness and then i have these offset scissors and so i'm going to come along even to that and just chop it down there are lots of ways to do that this is just my again quick and dirty way to do it because i didn't want to um i have my warp uh um yarn on order and so i won't be able to do anything more official with it until next week and i will do it next week that is generally speaking how you do it if you want these um these fibers uh, kind of standing more straight up and fluffed you can use this same beater bar to or beater wand i don't know what to call it uh, to kind of uh, comb it out a little bit and that in a nutshell is how i will be making this rug so, that helps